So, I open up my mail today, and guess what I get? Wait. That's right. Whoever you are that sent me these Shady Rays, and by the way, I am not sponsored by Shady Rays in any way, shape, or form. These are freaking stellar and awesome sunglasses. You must have seen my videos with my other sunglasses and figured I needed a new pair. But I want to thank whoever it is sincerely from the bottom of my heart. This was a total surprise today. Not only did I get one really cool pair of shades from Shady Rays, but I got two. So whoever you are, Thank you very much. They will be put to good use. Morning YouTube. Welcome back to Not Timmy 66. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing good, man. Hope everybody, if you're working, is working hard, but you're also working smart. Uh, me, not a whole lot going on yet today. Just got done mowing the yard and uh, topic came to, topic came to mind, man. As topics usually do while I'm mowing. And, uh, I want to talk about discipline. That's right, discipline. You know, I mean, when we talk about discipline, it's a pretty wide ranging subject, right? You could say, you know, what are you talking about, man? Are you talking about the discipline to get up and go to work every day? Are you talking about the discipline of your children? What are you talking about with discipline? Well, I'm kind of talking about all that. And the reason this thought comes to mind, without getting way too personal and boring you guys with a bunch of whole bunch of family stuff, I have a 11 year old boy <clears throat> who's being bullied pretty hard at school he's kind of a his own individual person super smart not the coolest kid kind of nerdy just the kind of kid i was right and he's getting bullied a lot by the in crowd at school he's currently in sixth grade going on college i guess and uh a question came up because our policy in our house is if you do something wrong at school, you get punished at home, right? We're not one of those parents that just sit back lightly and just go, oh, don't do that again, little Johnny. We're just not like that. And so the question arose when he did something wrong in school, and I'm not getting into great detail, but let's just say he got uh, in-school suspension for being bullied let's just put it that way and so he had some consequences he lost his phone for a little while and we had a long talk with him and he said you know what dad yes i don't understand how these other kids their parents get called when they do something wrong or whatever and they they don't they come back to school and they just do the same thing over and over again it's like they don't learn anything and i said it's because they don't get disciplined at home the parents are not proactive enough to take a stance with their kids, or at least a lot of them. I'm not saying you guys are or aren't if you are parents. I'm just saying there's a lot of parents out there that would rather have the PlayStation or the computer babysit as opposed to taking an active role. But if you don't take an active role and you don't start teaching some kind of discipline that there's consequences for your actions, then you never learn it, right? Or you learn it the hard way. He goes, you guys need to know what I'm talking about here. I'm not talking about the kind of discipline where you beat the crap out of your kids. I'm talking about discipline with love and discipline with a lesson. Okay? It can be harsh depending upon how many times they do the same thing. But if you want to correct a behavior, just like if you want to correct, correct a behavior in your life that's going wrong, you got to have some discipline, right? Some self-discipline. And... We all come with a certain amount of discipline. There's things that we will and will not do, right? But a lot of discipline, in my humble opinion, is taught. And if you don't teach kids self-discipline, then they're going to have a harder time in life. Kids today are mean, man. They're mean. And there is no holds barred sometimes when it comes to bullying and things like that. And the teachers, I'm sorry, guys. The teachers can only do so much. The parents have to get in and do an active role, take an active role in their kid's life. Um, don't just 
let them completely, and we're guilty of this, you know, too, but, you know, letting the computer babysit them or playing games and stuff like that because it's easier, right? We're tired when we come home from work. We're tired at the end of the day. We don't want to deal with it, right? So sometimes it's easier just to allow the gaming system or whatever to become the, the, the babysitter, and that is not the best way to go, and I'm not saying I'm perfect, believe me. But self-discipline carries you through life. It carries you through everything. I had to learn discipline the hard way. I didn't really learn too much about discipline until I joined the military. And that was a rude awakening for me. Now, don't get me wrong, I had loving parents that cared, but they weren't real heavy. Um, well, they were, but they weren't. I never learned it. Let's put it that way. My parents taught, I have two older sisters and taught both of all three of us discipline the best way they thought they knew how. I was just hard-headed and didn't learn it until I'm the kind of person, I guess, that has to have it crammed down their throat or learn the hard way. And my son's the same way. So we vowed with our kid that we weren't going to do that, that we were going to try to teach them as much as we possibly could. But anyway, beyond kids and stuff like that, what's your self-discipline in life? I mean, what what motivates you to be a disciplined and basically a good individual that can stay positive in life, that can always try to look at the bright side of things when things get tough, because we all know they do? I guess my question is, what's your self-discipline? Do you have any? And if you do have any self-discipline, how do you practice it it's important guys our kids watch what we do and you may not think they do but they watch everything that we do so if you're not disciplined in your own life right if they see a certain amount of laziness or they see that you don't practice what you preach to them then they're not good they're gonna say what the heck's the point my dad doesn't do that and my mom doesn't do that you know if you want to have the kids keep their room clean, clean your house. Show them that that's how you live. If you want to have your kids be honest and not lie to you, always tell the truth, no matter how hard it is, right? If you want your kids to know love and respect, like especially us men want to know that our sons are going to have love and respect for women, love and respect your wife. Ladies, love and respect your husband. Show your daughters. It's all, as far as parenting goes, it's all, it's not all. I guess I shouldn't say it's all. That's kind of all-encompassing, and you guys probably disagree with me on that. But a large part of it, let's put it that way, a large part of the way our kids act is a reflection of how we act. So you say, well, I've got the discipline to go ahead and get up and go to work every day. I've got the discipline to work the long, hard hours. I've got the discipline to make sure that I bring home the bacon, as it said or used to be said, for my family. I've got the self-discipline to get up and run every day. I've got the discipline to work out. You know, where did that come from, though? Was it instilled by a creator or was it a learned behavior? So, I guess the point is, and what I'm thinking about here, is when you're raising your kids, discipline's important. And again, I'm not talking about the heavy-handed kind of discipline where you're just beating the crap out of your kids and they're not learning anything except for, oh, I better not do that, or mom or dad's going to beat the crap out of me. I'm talking about discipline that teaches kids a lesson and just shows them, hey, you know what, that was bad behavior, you're not, you shouldn't do that again, right? And that's the kind of stuff that we're trying to teach our kids. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't seem fair when the other kids just seem to get away with murder and my kids can't. It makes them wonder. It makes them go, gosh, my parents are really strict. But I think in the long run, guys, I think overall it's going to teach them how to be better prepared for life. I mean, I hate that my kid gets bullied at school. I hate that he's the nerdy kid that, that gets teased a lot and picked on. But I also want him to be prepared that life isn't exactly always fair and that people aren't always nice, right? And he's getting a dose of that lesson. It breaks my heart to know that he gets teased like he does, but at the same time, he has to learn how to deal with it, right? Just like we have to learn how to deal with bosses. We get disciplined at work. 
sometimes we get disciplined fairly, sometimes we get disciplined very unfairly, and it's not right. But in a society that seems to be increasingly less about moral standards and rules, it's important that we stand up and raise up a, our next generation of kids with some morals and some rules and some do's and don'ts in their life. It's vitally important, and if we're not doing that, in my opinion, we're just raising up a bunch of losers that are going to create more problems than solve problems. But anyway, guys, it's just a thought, a little thought experiment. And I just want some feedback from you guys on what you do to discipline yourself every day. And what you do to discipline your kids if you got them. Or your grandkids. Or your cousins. Or your nephews and nieces. Um, you know. It goes a long way in life, guys, and that's all I'm trying to say. So with this little thought experiment over, I'd like to see some comments. I want to thank everybody for watching Not Timmy 66 today. Hope everybody has a great day. I'm going to do some motorcycle footage. And um, By the way, guys, I love all the comments and um, keep them coming. Any questions you got about MHA, because Lord knows I've got enough of them. Um, like any of you that are MHAs, tell me how you like the job, man. How do you like being a mail handler's assistant? What's your experience been so far? I really would like to know. It's interesting to me. But beyond that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I want to thank you guys very much if you made it this far through the video for watching. Not Timmy 66. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. And keep in mind, as usual, no matter what you do in life, make it count.